Increasingly in Word and in Outlook, we've been asked to put macrons onto certain letters, particularly with regards to Māori words. For example, let me type taupo, T-A-U-P, and now I need an O with a line above it, called a macron. From the Insert tab, and in the Symbols group, I'm going to click the Symbol button. What I'm going to choose is More Symbols. What we have in the top left corner is the font drop-down, and I'm going to click the font drop-down, scroll right to the top, and choose Normal Text. Normal Text typically has letters that are formatted with macrons, and I'm going to look for a little O with a line above it. And here we are here. There's also a capital O with a line above it, but I'll just go for the small one and click Insert. And this has inserted the O with a line above it in my document. So I'll then click Close. And this is how we create Topo with a macron with a line above the O to basically accentuate the O. What I'd like to do now is whenever I type Topo, that it automatically inserts the symbol and I don't have to do this manually every time. So I'm going to select these five characters by holding the shift key and hitting the right arrow. I don't want to collect this extra space on the end, so I'll hold the shift and hit the left arrow. So I just get the five letters. I'll then go to the File tab in the ribbon and choose Options. From here I can choose Proofing on the left and click the button Autocorrect Options. What I'll do is take out what's in the Replace box and type Topo in lowercase with no macron over the O. In the Width box, I'll choose the option Formatted Text, and it picks up the formatted text in my document that I had selected, and I'll click Add. I'll then click OK and OK, and now if I was to type Topo, T-A-U-P-O, as soon as I press the spacebar, it immediately applies the macron. Another example is Whakatane. I'm going to type Whakatane, W-H-A-K-A-T. Now I need an A with a line above it. So again I'll go to the Insert tab in my ribbon, to the Symbols group, and click the Symbol button. I'll then choose More Symbols. I'm in the font Normal Text, so now I'm looking for an A with a line above it. And it can take a little bit of looking to find these. I might go down. And you can never find it when you're looking. I can actually increase the size of this so I can see more on my screen. And head back up again. And now you can see why I want to turn them into autocorrect, because you waste a lot of time trying to find these particular letters with macrons. And there it is there. There's the A with the line above it. So I'll click Insert and Close. Then I'll put NE. So here's my Whakatane. I'm just going to highlight this text as by holding the Shift key and hitting the right arrow. But again, I don't want to get the extra space on the end, so with my shift key still down, I'll hit the left arrow. I just want to select those characters. Now I'll go back to File, down to Options, I'll choose Proofing, and Autocorrect Options. I'll then take out what's in the Replace box, and type Whakatane, in lowercase. And in the Width box, I'll click the option Formatted Text. And here it is here, so I'll add this. When I click OK and OK, whenever I type Whakatane now, as soon as I press the spacebar, it'll automatically correct it. So if you deal with multi words on a regular basis, you might want to add these to your autocorrect, and it'll automatically give you your macrons on any particular multi words.